An innovative new pilot program is helping provide comfort to newborns who are too tiny or too sick to go home with mom. New at 5, Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson takes a look at volunteer cuddlers. Any mother of a newborn baby will tell you what a joy it is to cuddle a baby. But some moms don't have that luxury. And for that, there are cuddlers. It's a new program here at Women and Infants Hospital that's really picking up in popularity. The sound of silence inside the Women and Infants Hospital. This baby is sleeping soundly thanks to the nurturing of Teresa Soa. But she isn't a newborn mother, she's a resident cuddler. I'll come in, I'll hold the baby, I'll sing to the baby, um, I'll rock them. Soa is one of five specially trained volunteer cuddlers at the hospital. The pilot program launched last August to help parents with prematurely born babies staying in the neonatal intensive care unit. They um, may be here two, three, four, five months, uh, and it's very difficult for parents to get in on a regular basis. However, we know it's a very critical period of brain development. And that's where cuddlers like SOA come in, giving special babies the comfort they need when their parents can't be there. Hospital Director of Neonatal Follow-Up Betty Vore says her research shows talking and singing to a baby can be especially helpful for future vocalization. Vore says similar cuddler programs have popped up at hospitals all over the country. But this is the first of its kind in Rhode Island, and the popularity has exploded with nearly 80 babies taking part in the program. We are 100% behind this intervention of cuddling here at Women and in Infants Hospital because we know it's going to make a big difference. Officials here at Women and in Infants Hospital tell me they hope the program moves from the pilot stage into the next phase at some point this year. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.